So this time we're going to attempt to get the drum off. A um, couple things. I took the cancellator nut, turned it around backwards. Hopefully it'll keep from damaging the threads on the end of the axle stub there. And it's going to be hard to see, hard to film. Uh, hopefully somewhere in here, right there. Hopefully you can see that. That's the adjuster. Um, I'm going to remove or attempt to remove that. Um, yeah. So cool. We'll give it a shot. This adjuster may not be coming out for me. All right. So I pulled it off. Um, so I wanted to check. Obviously, I said I left this nut on there. I didn't want to be beating on this thing and then have the drum bottomed out against that. But I've got a solid half inch there. So hopefully it'll pop at some point. But I'll know that this, I, I got to just mentally note that the outer edge of the drum here, uh, once it's proud of the backing plate, that's when I know I'm getting some movement. So let's, uh, damn it. Oh gosh. I think we're pulling threads out of our starting to pull threads yeah out of the tool here <clears throat> man that's tough I don't know if it's the nut I would assume it's probably the nut given up not the tool steel threaded rod but all right let's get this button back up and keep beating on it And there it went. And it took some hammering. You'll notice I, well, I started with two of these. I had a little bit of um, inner tube I zip tied to it. That really helped with the ringing. But uh, yeah, now you see we got the drum popped loose. So let's take this off and see what stuff underneath looks like. Watch it have brand new wheel cylinders in it. All right, so we got to get the tool off of here. Also gonna have to get some new lug nuts because doing this chewed those up pretty good even with them turned around backwards it's actually a good tip one of the comments on the video last night said hey turn the lug nuts around backwards not something i thought about that way the cone is not biting into that come on get out of there that way the cone is not biting into that sharp hole probably should have thrown some, some washers under there too but I didn't all right tools off man look at that that, that worked pretty well uh, I need to get this pin I just put the pin in there so that the castle nut wouldn't rotate and it still spins by hand so we didn't fuck the threads up too bad I mean, the threads in the nut don't look great. But, yeah, I, I can get a new castle nut. That's not a problem. Yeah. The threads on the axle shaft look all right. Drum off. Yeah, there we go. There's not really a noticeable ridge in the drum, so that can be saved. Or, you know, turned. Uh, wheel cylinder doesn't look too old. Also doesn't look too new. Uh, so we're going to replace that anyway. They're like $10 a piece, hilariously. So, uh, yeah, those are, those are getting replaced. Alrighty. Cool. So, yeah, it's not rust that holds that drum on. It's this taper. Um, probably kind of hard to see in the video. Oh, turn. Uh, there's the key um, somebody was in here not too long ago that's some relatively fresh grease um, somebody honestly may have replaced those wheel cylinders they don't look real rusty um, but like I said they're they're cheap enough so they're gonna get replaced but yeah 
damn, what a job. Tool held up great though. So now we get to do the other side. This side I'm gonna do is a video um, because the time lapse, I don't really think got the real spirit and suffering of doing it on the other side. So same setup here. Um, the only difference is because we're, we have to move this way, when we put force on the tool, it wants to pick itself up. It wants to pick the whole axle of the car up. Um, so I have stands under the axle, not the body. And I've also got a jack stand under the lug here to hopefully keep it from spinning because I think I was wasting a lot of my uh, force on the other side at least initially until I rigged it up with like the square bar with the axle just flopping around so yeah here we go this side I might break something uh, because the adjuster in the back is screwed all the way in like flush with the back plate I don't even know how they got it that way but I can't get it out from where it's at so here we go Can you tell I'm having fun? Oh, good God. Cars are pain. There it is. This one was actually quite a bit easier than the other side. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still sucked. But yeah. Damn. All right, I could definitely feel the shoes dragging on this side just because of that adjuster. So let's whip this apart and see what appears to be broken. I might have gotten lucky. On the other side, I kind of messed up the, the threads in the nut, just from the threaded bar. But honestly, that's fine. Yeah, they're a little screwed here too. I'll either get a new nut. Oh, I didn't break anything. Sick. So yeah, it actually looks like these wheel cylinders are relatively new um, on both sides but I'm still gonna replace them because I only wanna do this once and I wanna know <laughs> that it's done. So, yeah. Uh, let's run, I'm gonna run this on backwards and use the 
stub axle to kind of chase the threads out of the nut here. Well, or I'll just run the impact in reverse and you know whip it off one of the two. Whatever. Yeah, that cleaned it up. So now we should be able to thread it on the correct way. Yeah, still wants to hang up a little bit, but. Yeah, it's just like the, the very tips of the castle that are a little grungy. That feels fine. Alrighty. Now, where did my Woodruff key go? Oh, the key is in the brake drum on this one. Alrighty, job done. That was a lot of hammering. Um, passenger side, the second one was actually significantly easier, I think, because I finally had the presence of mind to, like, you know, brace the thing uh, against the jack stand. Um, I think I was wasting a lot of effort on the first one over and over and over again um, with it just spinning. Uh, man, what a job, but, um, it's done. So next step it is going to be to get the drums turned and cleaned up and then get the new wheel cylinders in. And then we're going to run all new brake lines. So it may be a while. I know I've had kind of a rapid fire, a uh, few videos here. Um, it may be a while before you see another video from me. We got some work travel next week. Got some plans this weekend. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And, um, the, I'd really hope to have this thing on the road this weekend, but the brake line situation put the uh, kibosh on that. So to uh, rip off Dean a little bit, why don't you get out in your shop and fix something? Um, thanks for watching. See you all next time.